Okay guys, so today we did a video, or we're doing a video comparing the Mora Bushcraft Black and the Cold Steel SRK in SK5. <clears throat> now, the primary reason I'm doing this video, similar to the Gerber Strong Arm, the Mora Bushcraft Black has been one of the most requested knives that I compare and contrast to, especially the SRK. So I thought I'd sit down and do a video comparing the full-sized SRK versus the Bushcraft Black. Now, I'm not going to lie, this video, the way the test results went were actually fairly even. The one big thing that I immediately noticed and just stuck throughout, or my head and stuck throughout the entirety of the video, was that, man, the batoning for this knife was pretty brutal. So let's jump into it. So, as always, we start out with batoning, and regardless to how you feel when it comes to batoning, uh, that is something I do on the, vi on the channel, and I like to showcase in case you are one of those people that likes to baton like myself. Now, neither of these two suffered from any major or catastrophic issues with batoning, and that should be noted, you know, the SK, or the SRK is a very strong knife, and at least in my personal experience, I've never had any issues with it. Um, and the Bushcraft Black was just fine uh, from the standpoint of performing the task and batoning, but I will say, and honestly, it's rather rare nowadays, so it kind of caught me off guard, but the amount of hand shock in this knife when you baton it is actually astounding. I mean, this thing has a fully rubberized handle similar to the SRK, so you'd think it would do a really good job at having very little hand shock, but this little guy right here, batoning through the same wood, uh, had about twice as much, a very noticeable, at least, hand shock that I felt, and it actually, uh, at some points, downright hurt my hand to baton with this knife. The amount of shock that was coming off the handle was very noticeable. And I will say, uh, by and large, out of these two blades, batoning went to the SRK, and that's not even so much due to the size. I mean, obviously, this is a larger blade, but I feel like if we were comparing the SRK Compact versus the Bushcraft Black, which the SRK Compact is more the size of this Bushcraft Black, um, it would still probably be better because, like I said, the sheer amount of hand shock out of this guy was, like I said, at moments actually downright painful. And I don't know if the video really will show that properly or very well, but just as a note, that was something that I noted very much uh, in the beginning with this guy was the there was a lot of hand shock. So the next point that we went to was feather sticking, and that's probably where these two did very well, probably their closest in comparison, of course, uh, being that this is a, uh, being that this is a full Scandi grind, it really does want to bite, so what a lot of people don't realize when they start to um, feather stick with a Scandi grind knife is that you have to be very um, deliberate and cautious when you feather stick so you can certainly get good feathers out of this blade but of course it does want to bite and dig in whereas on something like this uh, saber ground um, SRK you know naturally if you want it to bite it will bite but if you want it to really sit there and you know glide on the wood and just produce really good feathers it'll do that very well so I would probably say that these two are very close in feather sticking, but I would give the slight lead to the SRK because uh, its grind lends its hand to more easily and more naturally creating feathers. And whenever I do videos like this, I think, you know, if I was cold, if I was down on my luck, you know, if I was uh, struggling, which would be the easier to make feather sticks with and reliably and repeatably, and that definitely would be the SRK. So, moving on to the last of the comparisons that I did, and this was rather brief, but it was enough for me to get a sense of the capabilities of the uh, Bushcraft Black, and I've certainly used the SRK enough to know, uh, but the last was notching, and notching was actually fairly similar. I was expecting the Bushcraft Black to do a lot better in notching, but the problem, I think, with the Bushcraft Black is that they've made, unlike something like the Mora Clipper, 
uh, where you know it's a similar style and blade shape to this but the thing is they've made this blade stock about twice as thick as a clipper and they really haven't increased the grind um, length of the grind when it comes to this full Scandinavian so what ends up happening is when you're doing your you know pushing into the wood to do a notch you're really fighting a lot of blade material and uh, that's noticeable for sure with this blade now that being said it is still an incredibly sharp knife and it will still uh, carve and notch just fine like i don't think you would struggle this isn't something like the tom brown tracker where it just can't do it this is more of a you know it'll do it but you will notice that and once again i think that being said the srk is certainly difficult because it is a longer blade so you're more inclined to carve out here and you can't really like choke up on the blade and get a good grip so it struggles a little bit but once again you know it has a saber grind so there's a lot less material behind that very cutting edge so when you're driving it into wood you know you you know you're driving it into wood you have to put some force behind it but the fact of the matter is it can do it rather easily and rather readily and uh, I would say it can do this with no more or no less um, effort than the more bushcraft black so I would say that while I was initially expecting the bushcraft black to do better it's more of a tie between these two when it comes down to carving and notching so that is the three basis that I did uh, the last so those were the three bases that I did. Uh, both of these blades would do an excellent job at striking a ferro rod. I'm not going to start any fires here, but both have very sharp spines. Both will strike ferro rods just fine. So it leads me down to closing thoughts. With uh, both of these blades at a very similar price point, I got this uh, knife here on Amazon for about $37, and this uh, knife on Amazon I got for $40 but the SRK varies in price and right now I believe it's actually about $32 on Amazon and at that price point and I would say even if this was $40 and this was $37 uh, I would still go with the SRK. I do love Mora and you guys will know I have a long uh, time and I've spent a lot of time with Mora's. I love my Eldris. I love my Garberg. I love my Clippers and Companions. Um, but this knife right here, I don't know, it looks really good. Pulling it out of the box, it looks like a really great knife and it feels good in the hand. But there's just something missing um, about this blade and I'm not exactly sure what it is. And, or, you know, like there's something about this design that just is lacking and I can't quite put my finger on it I don't know exactly what it would be but you know the ergonomics feel good but there's a lot of hand shock the blade thickness is just a little bit too much for this to be a good carving knife or crafting knife and so it's pushing more into a survival role and at that length or at, at this size you know being a survival knife is just not very good it's it's very small for a survival knife once again i've talked about this in previous videos but you know this is the optimal size for a survival knife whereas this is you know just a wee bit short and uh, you know the problem that you run into with a blade length like this is that you know trying to baton a piece of wood like this which isn't even terribly thick you know it just can't cut it it can't make it through that so i I'm disappointed with this knife, but it's not a horrible knife, just not the best. And uh, out of these two, I would certainly pick the SRK. Um, this is a far better put together knife, and I've had no complaints with it. I've had a lot of time behind the blade, and I've put this knife against a lot of other knives, and uh, it does very well. So that is my opinion on the Mora. Bushcraft Black versus the Cold Steel SRK. It is a little bit probably surprising to most people, even including myself. I thought I was going to love the Bushcraft Black. It's just turning out to be not quite the knife that I thought it would be. Anyways, guys, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. As always, God bless, and I'm out.